Tonight, two people come forward saying they left Tri-State Alliance in Evansville due to what they call uncomfortable situations. The LGBTQ organization recently came under fire after one of the board members resigned, citing possible financial misuse and inappropriate behavior by a board member. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett in our newsroom tonight with new information. Brandon? Brad, both men who are transgender contacted me last night wanting to share their stories about what it was like for them to be a part of Tri-State Alliance and why they ended up making the decision to leave that group. They hope sharing their stories tonight will bring about change within that organization. I had been uncomfortable for some time within the Tri-State Alliance. Kurt Etheridge and Matthew Powell had similar stories to tell Eyewitness News tonight. Both are transgender men. Both used to take part in Tri-State Alliance activities and both say they became very uncomfortable about what was going on within the TSA youth group. One of them even telling me TSA President Wally Painter would make jokes about him of a sexual nature when he was 16 years old. There were just a lot of comments made and a lot of them were inappropriate and some of the children were getting told this and it just wasn't okay. And you don't expect that at a place like this? No, you don't, you don't expect it. and. You shouldn't tolerate it. It's not okay. But it was this general feeling of transgender people not being welcome or being seen as second-class citizens or um, being misgendered by people on the TSA board. Etheridge says he's heard talk of at least one board member misusing the organization's money for over a year and talk that the board doesn't hold regular board meetings. It's talk, he says, is now fact, recently backed up by former TSA members. I knew that it was time for me to go. Both Etheridge and Powell tell me because of the environment within the organization, they both felt they had to leave what they hoped would be a support group for them and their LGBT peers. When I was younger, I didn't know that there was anything other than Tri-State Alliance. And I think that's why this is so alarming to so many people and why maybe people haven't spoken out about things like this before, because it sort of would feel like turning your back on your family. And both men tell me they now have no affiliation with TSA and both are now part of a newly formed group called Gender Warriors. And they tell me they are also receiving support from other youth groups as well. Now, I reached out to TSA President Wally Painter for comment, but as of news time, we have not heard back. And Brandon, the financial issues here, as we have reported, involve TSA's loss of its tax-exempt status. Yeah, that's right, Brad. The IRS revoked TSA's tax-exempt status last year, but the organization has continued to host fundraisers, some of them known to bring in some big money. Barla, we'll continue to follow the story. Thank you.